you are forever separated from God in a place called hell. Hi, I'm Ryan Pearson, and I'm getting baptized today. I came to faith in Christ when I was around six years old. It started at a VBS camp where my mind was open to lots of questions about faith. I then talked to my mom about it, and she helped me pray and accept Jesus into my life. So, to me, following Jesus means that you should be acting differently in your language and just the decisions you're making in everyday to day life. And to me, that's important so that other people can see that I'm not just living worldly and that there is something else out there. I'm being baptized today because I've thought about it before, but it's never been, I've never done anything about it. It's always just been a thought in my mind. And recently, it's been put on my heart. And it's just been feeling like a calling as a next step that I felt I need to do. And I went to the baptism class, and since then, it's been something I felt like I needed to do. Uh, a verse in the Bible that means a lot to me is Philippians 4.13. And I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And that just means a lot to me because it's always a reminder that Christ is always there with you, strengthening you. And if you stumble or fall, he's always there to give you more strength to get back up. The church could be praying for me to continue to deepen my faith and relationship with Christ and have the knowledge and courage to share it with others. You admit that your sin can only be forgiven uh, through Jesus Christ who died and rose again for you. Yes. And third, do you reject your sinful life and commit to following Jesus for the rest of your life? Yes. Well, Ryan, then upon your repentance of sin and your faith in Jesus Christ, uh, your commitment to follow his command and obedience, it gives me a great privilege and joy to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.